clear. Okay, maybe there are there are developments that are you will say cluster. They seem like they're similar or they're related. For example, maybe here later on we will hear how all these different groups are starting to endorse us. Okay, let's, let's say that's, those are similar. Okay, the Muslim group, the a military group, the youth group. The, so th those are similar you know, endorsements. So they they have they do not a similar pattern. Now we can say here. Okay. Another set of phenomena, they seem like they're similar. So maybe this is an internet related phenomena where, for example, uh, the results of the tweets, uh, the, the ANC, the LSU forum, stuff like that, the results of the blog watch, were sort of number one among all the presidential candidates there. Lots of so many uh, similarity, right? And then uh, you can also have the same top. Okay. So now what uh, whatever the thing is, which will also come out. I'm just giving an example. Now if you notice we can when we cluster, we put all the we put all the green together. So we have a green. Yeah, so then we can call that in a certain way, and then we put all the red together. Yeah, and then we have a red. You begin to see the one. This way. <laughs> we just finished the. This is so strategic. <laughs> okay, and then. Okay, right. So you will notice that all the facts cluster themselves the same to three clusters. Okay? So three clusters, whether uh, endorsements, internet, and whatever the thing is, it will come out later. So they're there at that level. Now, if you take a look at that, you will now have to find uh, what is the relationship between that and this, right? Because if you, if you find that, there may be one or two of them left, left there. That's, that is, in a certain sense, the underlying idea that drives all of this. Okay, so we can say that in the path of knowledge, when we have a certain path of knowledge, we are able, through our mind, to grasp that idea, what, what is the intent. Now the power of transnational corporations, they, they, when they operate at this level, then they they do this, they activate that, they affect all of this. Because this is just an expression of this. The underlying force, the underlying idea of what's going on. So when we do strategic planning, we're trying to find what's this. What is the message for us here? So that when we do our strategic planning, wanting to have certain effects, we, we know what's going on. And then we provide uh, a vehicle, logistical, organizational, communications, all of that to bring what is wanting to happen mm -hmm. into reality. Mm -hmm. So that's very different because here we discover we do not pre-plan it, mm -hmm. but we read the phenomena, the logic, the order, the order behind the science of the phenomena. And then we have a we have a choice as free human beings here to actualize it. Okay. So you know that's the uh, that's what we're doing here. And in that way when we reach this, this will be we can say that this is the underlying strategy of the world process. That is happening. But we can only understand that from the from the earlier discussion that we've had already in, the, in our orientations, but when we enter into the field of creativity, we are totally interconnected with everything that happens. Even modern science is already showing that, you know, in terms of the radical interrelatedness of quantum phenomena and the universe itself. 
So that's where it's coming from. And, and of course, our mind, our thought, is not just <coughs> sitting in our brain. Mm -hmm. Our consciousness is connected. That's why we can access creative thoughts, possibilities to the future, and this is what we're trying to realize. Right. Mm -hmm. 